Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use branching or skip logic in Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms is free. It is web-based, so I've already signed into Forms by going to forms.office.com and putting in my Microsoft account. Branching is a great feature. Let's say that you want to have one question, and depending on the answer to that question, if you answer one way, maybe the survey ends. If you answer the question a different way, you'll get another question. That is branching or skip logic. So I've already created this survey. So I'm going to click it one time. Survey for Excel training. I just made that up. Did you learn anything new? So here are the questions. So let's show you how this works first. Then I'll show you how I created the branching. So I'm going to go and preview it for you. So while you're going through the questions, question three, notice it stops at question four and then it says submit. Would you like to be notified about future classes? We use branching all the time. If you go to the doctor's office, they may ask you, are you male or female? Because depending on your answer will be the other questions you have to fill out. Since this is an anonymous survey, if someone says no, it ends. If someone says yes, I need to capture their email address. So let me do the no first. When I click submit, I should get thank you for taking the survey. Perfect. I'm going to preview it again. I'm not going to sit here and answer them all, but question four again. Would you like to be notified about future classes? Here comes the branching. If I hit yes, it says, hey, I need your email address and you could type in your email address. So that is branching. Let me show you how I set that up. There are my questions. So after question four, I added this fifth question and it says to be notified about future classes, please type your email address below. I went back to question four. I went up top to more form settings. And there is branching. Other survey programs besides Microsoft Forms may call this skip logic or they may call it conditional logic or conditional branching. I'm going to hit branching. It took me to question one. It says, did you learn anything new? It says, go to next, go to next. That's all great. It is question four right here. It was set up for next and next. That's the default. So I put in question five. So if they say yes, I need to jump to the fifth question. If they say no, there are no more questions. So I'm just going to end of the form. So that is how I set that up. Back, one more test, preview, question four, no. Submit, the form ends. Question four again on preview, yes. Type in your email address. Let me show you a little trick though with this. A lot of times when I'm doing this fifth question, and I'm just going to get rid of it for right now. So let me delete it. So I've got the four questions. Would you like to be notified about future classes? One thing I sometimes will do is if I'm going to do a branch and jump to another question. So when I hit add new, before I add the question, I will throw in a section. What's interesting is a section is really not a question, but watch when I click it. It now says section two. Your email information. That's not a question. It's just the name of the section. Add new. Text. So again, if they say yes, I want to know about future classes, please type in your email address below. Short answer works. There's a long answer. Short answer works. So that is the fifth question, but it's got a section to it. So here we go again with branching. Question four. The answer is go to other section, your email information. And if you hit no, go to the end of the form. 
perfect. Let's go test it. Preview. If I hit no, it should end the form. Does. Preview. If I hit yes, instead of having question five below question four, when I hit next, a new section appears. Watch this. And I called it your email information. Hit submit, and that ends the form. So there is branching for you. Just so you know, you can branch off a question that you branch from. I'm not doing it here. I think you have it. Branching is up here under more form settings. Go ahead and put in your questions first, then do your branching. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about forms, put them in the comments box down below. Bye-bye.